The cases of coronavirus infection in our country has risen to 271 after 63 fresh cases were reported in a day. This as per the health ministry. Now, this includes uh, 32 foreign nationals, including uh, 17 from Italy, 13 from the Philippines, two from the UK, one each belonging to Canada, Canada Indonesia and Singapore. India has uh, reported four deaths from Delhi, Karnataka, Punjab and Maharashtra. The spike in the number of positive coronavirus cases has prompted the states and union territories to reinforce efforts to contain the spread. Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre said that all workplaces in the major cities, including in country's commercial hub Mumbai and Pune, will remain closed till 31st of March. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal announced a shutting down of all malls in the national capital, but he exempted uh, grocery stores and pharmacies from downing shutters. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath also ordered all malls to be shut with immediate effect and directed officials to sanitize Lucknow, Noida and Kanpur cities. In Jammu, authorities ordered the suspension of all modes of public transport, including uh, buses and minibuses, with immediate effect till further orders. In Rajasthan, also prohibitory orders under Section 144 of the CRPC were imposed in Bilwara district from Friday after a doctor at a private hospital tested positive for coronavirus. Uttarakhand and Sikkim governments have banned the entry of domestic and foreign tourists into the state till further orders to contain the spread of the virus. The State Election Commission of Arunachal Pradesh has decided to temporarily put on hold the municipal and panchayat elections in the wake of the pandemic. Meanwhile, the UPSC has also deferred the personality tests of uh, candidates of a civil service examination 2019 and new dates for the interviews will be informed to the candidates in due course. And earlier on Friday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi deliberated on the ways to check the spread of coronavirus. Uh, he spoke uh, with the chief ministers of various states uh, via video conference. At the meeting, the Prime Minister urged the chief ministers to ensure effective implementation of social distancing, saying that it is the most important measure to contain the spread of coronavirus. He said that the threat of a pandemic is common for all states as the country is in a critical phase of tackling spread of the virus. He said that uh, the chief ministers must ensure prevention of uh, black marketing and undue price rise as well. Chief ministers also requested for augmentation of testing facilities, greater support for vulnerable sections, advancement of financial disbursement uh, for 2020-2021 to the states and the need for roping in private laboratories and private hospitals in large numbers. And after last week's decision uh, to bring masks and hand sanitizers under the Essential Commodities Act of 1955, the government on Friday fixed the prices of these items. In a tweet, Union Minister Ramila Paswan explained the prices of uh, two-ply and three-ply surgical masks and said that they will remain the same as it was on 12th of February and the retail prices of uh, three-ply masks will be at 8 rupees per mask and not exceed 10 rupees. Similarly, the retail price of a 200 ml bottle of sanitizer has been fixed to not exceed 100 rupees. Other sizes of bottles so will be priced in the same proportion. These prices will be applicable throughout the country till June 30th this year. Meanwhile, the Finance Ministry will hold an internal meeting today to firm up the action plan to deal with coronavirus crisis. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman met with the ministers and officials of civil aviation, animal husbandry, tourism and MSME sectors ministries yesterday to take stock of the situation following the coronavirus outbreak. Ta task force is not yet constituted, but uh, uh, as it is the ministry, because uh, keeping in uh, mind the sense of urgency with which we have to do this, we are holding the meetings. Of course, the task force, when it is constituted, will also get the benefit of these meetings. Four or five sectors had uh, contacted us even by day before yesterday and uh, in the process, we also thought it was better that the work of the task force can be done by the ministry to start with. Not that we were aware of the Prime Minister's announcement, but we, we started having this meeting. 
then the task forces come up now the work that we are doing will into go into the uh, uh, task forces assignment also the government has also decided to screen all passengers coming from the us australia and the uk at the 30 designated airports to assess their risk profile for either quarantine or isolation passengers arriving from 12 nations including china south korea japan italy iran singapore thailand malaysia hong kong vietnam nepal and indonesia are already being screened Meanwhile the HRD ministry has advised all the states to provide midday meals or food security allowance to the students till the schools are closed due to the novel coronavirus outbreak the center has also requested the states to enforce work from home for private sector employees except for those who are working in emergency and essential services Meanwhile army chief general Narvani also reviewed the Indian army's uh, preparation to contain uh, covid-19 with the senior functionaries at the army headquarters in an advisory the indian army said that 35% of officers and 50% of junior commissioned officers in the delhi headquarters will take turns in working from home for a week from 23rd of march the second group of officers and jcos will proceed on home quarantine on 30th of march the army has also postponed all the conferences seminars and annual and periodic examinations till 15th of april meanwhile national carrier air india will send a 787 dreamliner aircraft to rome later today to evacuate indians who are stranded there amid the corona virus crisis the flight to rome would take off from delhi airport at around 2:30 pm and will evacuate all indians who are stranded in rome and return to delhi on sunday morning And the government has informed the members of the Rajya Sabha on Friday that India has the capacity to manufacture 1.8 crore masks a day. Replying to the queries of the members of the upper house during question hour, MOS Chemicals and Fertilizers Mansukh Mandavia said that there was no shortage of gloves, sanitizers or medicines in the country. He also said that government has ensured compulsorily quarantine for crew coming to our ports from sea routes. while people coming in from nepal and bangladesh are also being scanned daily माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने पहले से ही इनिशिएटिव लिया है और काल सारे राष्ट्र को संबोधित भी किया है उसको देखते हुए हमने माइसेल्फ वन मेंबर ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स ने भी एक ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर के मिनिस्टर एक मेंबर के रूप में कोरोना वायरस के लिए देश में क्या क्या स्ट्रेटेजी बन रही है या तो कार्य योजना बन रही है उसके ऊपर हम काम कर रहे हैं सब पहले से ये तीन रास्ता है जो देश में ये वायरस विदेश से आ जाए एक एयर रूट एक सी रूट तीसरा भूता बांग्लादेश और आ, हमारे नेपाल जैसे देश की बॉर्डर हमारी है सभी जगह पे सब कड़े इनिशिएटिव लिए जा रहे हैं सभी देश में इफेक्टेड कंट्री से कोई भी मरीज देश में आते हैं या तो कोई भी ट्रैवलर आते हैं उसको फोर्टीन डेज फोर्टीन डेज के लिए क्वारंटाइन कंपल्सरी कर दिया है वैसे ही सी रूट से माई सर लुकिंग शिपिंग मिनिस्ट्री एल्सो सर शिपिंग मिनिस्ट्री के माध्यम से हमने सारे पोर्ट पर इनिशिएटिव लिया है कोई भी क्रू आए उसको क्वारंटाइन कंपलसरी किया है पर डे डेढ़ करोड़ मास्क बना सके इतनी हमारी कैपेसिटी है उसका प्रोडक्शन भी ऑलरेडी शुरू हो गया देश में मास्क की कमी नहीं है देश में ग्लोव की भी कमी होने की संभावना नहीं है सैनिटाइजर भी देश में देश की आवश्यकता के अनुसार उपलब्ध है और देश में ऐसी कोई भी स्थिति ना खड़ी हो कि देश में क्राइसिस हो उसको देखते हुए हम इनिशिएटिव ले रहे हैं In an Indian attempt to contain the spread of coronavirus, the Janta curfew will come into effect from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. tomorrow. During this period, people are requested to avoid public places and stay in their homes for 14 hours. No passenger train will originate from any railway station in the country from midnight to 10 p.m. on Sunday, in view of the day-long lockdown. Now this means that around 2400 passenger trains are cancelled in light of the janta curfew however passenger train services already on run at 7 am on the day will be allowed to run to the destinations all the food plazas the jan aadhar stalls have been advised to be shut until further notice by irctc suburban services in mumbai kolkata chennai and sikandrabad shall be reduced to bare minimum level only to cater to essential travel 
The Delhi metro services will also be closed on Sunday in view of the Janta curfew. Domestic carriers uh, Go Air, Indigo and Vistara will also curtail domestic operations tomorrow when Janta curfew would be in force. And Bhutan and Nepal have pledged a contribution of 1 million US dollars each to the SARC COVID-19 emergency fund. This fund was proposed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi with an initial offer of $10 million to help combat the coronavirus pandemic in the region. Both Bhutan and Nepal have also reassured their full support and cooperation to do everything possible in close collaboration with all the SARC nations to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. And here are the figures as well as the worldwide situation is concerned. The death toll worldwide due to coronavirus has now exceeded 11,000. In total, there are 5,168 deaths across Europe, mostly in Italy, which is the hardest hit country in the world with 3,405 fatalities. And in Spain also, the coronavirus death toll rose to 1,002 uh, on Friday after 235 people died in 24 hours and the number of cases there approached 20,000. Singapore, meanwhile, reported two coronavirus-related deaths today, marking the city state's uh, first fatalities from the infection. The patients who died were a 75-year-old woman and a 64-year-old man. Singapore, widely praised for its uh, fastidious onslaught against the virus, has confirmed 385 cases of the infection and had so far managed to avoid any fatalities since the outbreak began in the city late January. And uh, Iran announced uh, 149 more fatalities, bringing its death toll to 1,433 amid nearly 20,000 confirmed cases. And the U.S. announced on Friday that it was suspending all the routine visa services around the world due to the global pandemic. In the most drastic step yet, the U.S. state of California was placed under a lockdown to contain the fast-spreading coronavirus. And the death toll in the country stands at 218, with more than 14,000 confirmed cases. However, China reported no domestically transmitted coronavirus cases for the third consecutive day on Friday, even as seven more fatalities were confirmed, taking uh, the death toll in the country to 3,255. It is estimated that China has over 81,000 confirmed cases. Those were all the updates related to COVID.